Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, and in today's video, um, I'll be doing a blue hive composition. No, my hive isn't, uh, uh my hive is, uh, a bit special right now, because I got Vicious Bee, and most of my bees are ungifted, because I just came back to blue. But yeah, in today's video, I'll be helping you guys, uh, with a blue hive guide. So, the first thing I'll do is start with amulets. So, first of all, on your diamond shell amulet, there aren't many important stats apart Stumpfield Pollen and regular Pollen because these are the only one that you're gonna need. After that, the Diamond Cog Amulet, Capacity, Blue Pollen, I think you can get Bubble Pollen on it and Nectar is obviously good as well. Now my Amulet isn't really the best. Uh, then the Supreme Ant Amulet, you wanna get something really similar to this. You want Convert Rate, Critical Power, po Regular Pollen, uh, Critical Chance, White Pollen and Blue Pollen. Prefer preferably like higher stats than, than what I've got right now. Moon amulet, you want uh, 250k capacity, 8% honey per pollen, and the other stat can be anything, but white pollen is what I have right now. After that, we got the golden stick bug. Well, we got the stick bug amulet. Mine is golden right now because uh, I can't get blue bomb pollen and blue pollen at the same time on a diamond amulet. I'm too unlucky for that. But yeah, you really want blue bomb pollen, capacity, convert rate, and blue pollen. The blue bomb pollen is the most important one, by the way, with convert rate. After that, we got Supreme Star Amulet. Now, uh, the one I got is kind of mid, but yeah, we got uh, convert rate, which is an essential stat. We got beer Belter, which is pretty good, and we got blue pollen, which is also really good. Only good thing that I'd be missing is like uh, normal pollen instead of white pollen. That doesn't really matter. And critical chance instead of uh, instant conversion because instant conversion is kind of bad. But yeah, the passives are pop star and pop sh and uh, star shower. Now why is that? Because pop star obviously uh, it's pretty good for blue. It gives extra capacity, convert rate, blah 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 everything. You already know how it works. And star shower for the 1.25x capacity. You can also get pop pop star with guiding star. It's gonna be pretty much the same thing. It's also gonna give you an extra 1.25x capacity. Now the equipments you want, uh, well you want everything basically. And the diamond mask, inside popper if possible. Oh and also the king beetle amulet try to get a uh, high convert rate. And blue flower field pollen, bamboo field pollen aren't needed. Blue bits, same for blue bits, I not really needed. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's for the amulet section. Now, I'll go, I'll also explain to you guys like what the best macro to use is and stuff. But now let's get on to the hive parts. So, uh, the meta changed a bit because of Boy and B right here getting nerfed. Now, uh, I would usually run 20, but like uh, I'll talk about it later. Uh, it got nerfed to normal blue bombs instead of blue bombs plus, which affects blue a lot. But there are a few uh, fixes to this, let's just say. So the first bee you're gonna need is basic bee for the 1.2x pollen and also uh, because you can use a snow globe on it and it's just it's just really good you know um, after that the bomber bee bomber bee uh, for the 15% bomb pollen it's pretty good brave bee you don't need bumblebee you need for the 1.1x capacity and also it gives more bubble pollen and it also has a blue bomb so it's pretty good bee overall. Cool be kind of useless, only a blue boost and 15% blue pollen, and yeah, I know it does give some bubble pollen, but in my opinion, it's just a waste of a slot. After that, look your bee, 25% critical power, pretty good. Uh, focus, really good as well, another needed token. Uh, yeah, I used to, like, I used to say that critical power was bad, but now it's kind of needed. Like, you didn't need critical power before this, but now you, you do. After that, Stubborn B, 20% ability token, lifespan, really good for macroing. And you can also get like a hasty B, uh, replace it with hasty B if you're casually playing. But I'd rather have a Stubborn B either way. After that, Bubble B, plus 50% bubble pollen, uh, and blue bomb gathering bubbles, like yeah, kind of good now. Now, I am not 100% sure you can test with Bubble B and without, but I think having it is just a safer option. After that, we got Bucko B, 20% blue field capacity and blue boost. It's just, just pretty good. Uh, after that, Commander B, 3% critical chance, really good. 
and it gives focus. Next we got Frosty B, 30% blue bump pollen, you absolutely want this in blue bump plus, it's pretty good. Uh, you don't need Honey Bee, Rage Bee, Riley Bee. Now some people might think you need Honey Bee for Pop Star and Gummy Star, but if you if you have Pop Gum and Gummy Star, I don't know what you're doing. Just get just get Pop Shower or Pop Guiding, honestly. And we got uh, Shark Bee, uh, just pretty good to have. Haste and Token Link on one Bee. Uh, Baby Bee you don't need. Carpenter Bee you don't need. Diamond Bee you don't need. Diamond Bee you need. 1.2x convert rate. It's always good. Um, and for the passive shimmering honey, it's also useful. Then music B. I'm running three music Bs and one kazoo because having 100% constant critical power with like the, the melody bonus, it's really good. You 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 make sure you you have enough music Bs to keep constant melody. And we have ninja B. Ninja B gives haste and blue bomb plus. I'd rather have a ninja B than a a shot an another shock B because. Ninja B has blue bomb plus and 5% extra B move speed. And Onet did buff uh, the Ninja B recently with like, I think it's like 10% extra critical chance from its blue bomb plus ability or something. I'm not, I'm not too sure, but that's, I think that's what it is. Then we got the Boyan B. Now I did say that I had a low solution to the nerf that we had right here, and it's not a permanent nerf. Sadly, it's only a temporary nerf. So as you can see here, we got the bees with the ornaments. So yeah, there are, there are a bunch of ornaments right here that you can get from uh, gifting presents to the NPCs. Well, there are two ornaments that you really want. First of all, the um, snowman one. And by the way, all of them give 25% combo rate, so they're all good to get. But this one for the 25% extra pine tree capacity, blue, field, blue flower capacity, and blue field capacity. Uh, but could be pretty good. But an actual fix to the bomb is this one here. The Royal Jelly Ornament from Brown Bear, because it gives an extra 20% bomb pollen. That's like really, really good. And yeah, that's that's a temporary solution. After Beesmas, obviously it won't work. But Boy and B, uh, I, I have 19 right now, but you should run 20. Uh, I just replaced one with a Vicious B because it's good for digi for the, um, the Robo Bear Challenge. So yeah, run a, around 20 Boy and Bees. Then we got Fuzzy B right here, 1.1x uh, bomb power, pretty good. You obviously want this in your hive. And I'm only running 10 tadpole bees because of the... Because having more uh, baby doves and frogs is kinda good, but... I might reduce that to get more bones pretty soon, because... I don't know, I just feel like it's not needed to have that many. But then, at the same time... I'm, I was barely getting uh, any snowflakes. I'm, I'm barely getting any snowflakes with 10. So I, I don't know. I think I'll keep 10. I don't want to get to earn less snowflakes or macrine. So yeah, it's run between 8 and 10 is what I suggest. Vector B, you don't need that. Uh, Bear B, if you have it, run it. If you don't, get another buoyant or tadpole. Cobalt, you don't need. Very, 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 very bad. 10% instant blue conversion. You absolutely do not want that. Crimson B absolutely use this. Digital B, uh, if you have it, go ahead, use it. I did get it. I did unlock it from the Robo Bear challenge, and I've used a few drives on it right here. Yeah, I've I've used five blue drives on it, five white, four red, and zero glitch drives because glitch drives are a pain to get. They're so expensive. Um, festive B, you don't need. Photon, uh, Gummy B you do need because the 5% honey per pollen, that's actually pretty good. Photon B you do not need um, because 5% instant conversion, again, as I said, is pretty bad. You don't want that. Puppy B, uh, use it if and only if you don't have the... If you don't have a full low 20 hive, you, you can run it, but if you, if you have a low 20 hive like me, you don't need it. Unless you can afford a level 21 B and you really want to get it, then go ahead. Tabby B, uh, before Beesmus, this wasn't even needed, like, it was kind of useless, but now it's kind of good. Uh, because the, of the bomb nerf, it kind of helps. Vicious B, uh, you don't need this. Because it's kind of, it's kind of useless, you know. Windy B, uh, now for Windy B. 
if and only if you have like two um two tadpole alts then yeah go ahead and use it if you macro two tadpole alts but otherwise then you don't really need it because if you macro two tadpoles tadpole alts you're gonna have a ton of bubbles and it's just going to help pop more bubbles uh, now for macroing I did say that I was gonna show you guys the best way to macro but before that I just want to say that um, if you do have alt accounts the best thing to do is get a fuzzy tad account with around three to four gifted bullion bees for extra surprise parties um, around eight fuzzy bees uh, one festive bee four rage bees one stubborn bee and the rest just tadpole bees so around like maybe 30 tadpoles just fit in as many as you can and that should be pretty good and if you do have a second alt i suggest going for like a guiding star alt so you'd want to get like 45 46 bees get the guiding star get a uh, pine tree as your, one of your lowest fields and yeah just macro in another random field with it and get your hive like full of like cool bees rad bees buckle bees and make sure to have a stubborn bee and a few rage bees for token links and um ability lifespan and yeah, oh wait, there's one last thing I forgot before I tell you guys the macro thingy. There are bee, bee quips. Uh, now it's bees mess, it's pretty easy to get them. There are a few very, 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 very important things that you want. So first of all, snow globes, you really want those because uh, extra bomb pollen for a specific bee. But not only for that, because they give the snow ability snow globe shake. And it's going to uh, to help with balloon deflation, so yeah, uh, get that, it's pretty good. Next, the elf cap. If you're lucky with a 5 potential elf cap and you use waxes on it, you could get this little bonus right here, uh, honey at hive. I think the maximum you can get is 4%, I got two of them with 4% and one of them with 2%. So yeah, definitely, um, it definitely is a good idea to go get some uh, convert, uh, not convert at hive, I mean uh, honey at hive. Oh wait, never mind. This isn't even honey at hive. That's just convert rate at hive. I'm stupid, but yeah, definitely go ahead and try to get convert rate at hive. It's pretty good. Next, you're gonna need two pine codes, uh, two pine codes because they give extra pine tree capacity and pine tree pollen. You're gonna want icicles too for the blue bomb pollen bon hive bonus. It's just pretty good. The charm bracelet. Uh, I know about this one. I'm using it on my music bee because it gives five percent ability rate. And some decent buffs like the loot luck here, but I don't know, it's kind it's it's not really needed. Next a toy drum, you absolutely need this for Buckle B right here to get an extra haste source. Uh, the kazoo, put it on a buoyant B. Oh oh wait, actually I could actually no 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 bad idea. Put it on bubble B. <laughs> Let me just unequip it. Put it on bubble B, it's a way better idea. I didn't know you could put it on bubble B. Yeah, put it on bubble B. Next, Paper Angel, uh, put it on uh, sh on Bumblebee, I mean, yeah, put it on Bumblebee to, because it's an extra token link, it can always be useful. Bees Mystery Hat, uh, it's not really needed, just like a placeholder for now. And yeah, that's about it. Oh, and the Snow Tower, obviously, put that on the Diamond Bee, it's pretty good. And yeah, so that's all for the the bee clips. Now, onto the mac onto macroing. Um, there's this little macro called Natro Macro. It's actually pretty good if you have the right settings, and I'm going to give you guys the right settings. So first of all, on the first tab, when you down, oh, and I'll leave the link to the macro in the, uh, the macros Discord server in the description. So you join the server, and then you can download the latest version. You're gonna need Hado Hotkey for that, though. Um, now for macroing in Pine, well. You should macro in pine. The ideal settings are going to be uh, pine tree. You select the field pine tree and make sure you have advanced mode on. You want uh, the sprinkler lo the sprinkler location to be upper eight. You want the um, the pattern to be typewriter and the size M and two. The camera rotation to be left one, and you want to turn on field drift compensation and invert F slash B. So these are the settings that you're gonna want to have for um, Pine Tree. Now after that, uh, there's a Planter Plus tab and it's really it's really good. Basically it's going to maintain, it's going, to, well at least it's gonna try to maintain four to five nectars just for you. And 
it's basically gonna grab the planters from your inventory and place them as you can see right here I got uh, my pesticide here for refreshing and stuff so yeah also if you have the two new endgame planters it's going to be a lot easier for the macro to maintain your nectars so yeah if you have like if you don't have pedal heat treated and hydroponic you should be able to maintain at least uh four at least three and a half nectars pretty easily but if you do have them uh, you're gonna be able to maintain five uh with without any problems and also make sure to turn on um auto collect mode so that way it collect collects them automatically when they're ready and not every um, certain amount of time so that's uh, so that way it can it's going to be easier for the macro to maintain your nectars uh, after that there's also a collect slash kill tab you can make it collect um, collect anything and kill any mobs i suggest just collecting dapper bear samovar riley bees uh candles right here and the um, the stockings if you want you can also collect the honey wrath the gingerbread house and the beesmas feast right there uh there's also a little quest tab so if you're missing like any quests like riley bee or baku bee or if you want if you just want to try to get some polar bear quests and polar powers or you want to get on the um, or you want to get the the quest badge grandmaster like i do right here you can uh micro some quests and there's one last thing about this macro that you want to do and that is uh, in the settings tab you want to make sure that you have your VIP server link in there so that way it will always rejoin your VIP server or uh, a friend's VIP server if that's where you're macroing and also you want to set the correct move speed with move speed correction so that way it adapts to, like your haste tokens and bear morphs so that way it won't drift off the field and it's going to stay in the field. This is actually a really, really nice feature that, the, that this macro has. And that's what makes it one of the best macros out there. So I don't think... I think that's about it. I don't think I forgot anything. Uh, if I did, let me know in the comments. Uh, this, is a, this is a pretty huge video. And yeah, um, I, I, released some, I released some new merch soon. Uh, I'll, link, I'll, link, I'll link them in the description. Go check them out. They're only 10 Robux each. There are, it's four shirts. And yeah. Uh, I also wanted to thank you all again for a thousand subscribers. This is just insane. And yeah. Um, I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.